Welcome back to a new episode of my Discord Roundup series where we talk about all of the recent updates to Discord. For this one, we have a few smaller features that are already out like reaction notifications. And then we have a few leaks of some really cool upcoming features like an in-house age verification system. So let's start with the features that are already out and released today. And then we're gonna move into some of the leaks of upcoming features that are going to be coming out. For the first one, we have a really small one and something you've likely already seen before because you've probably been getting blown up with notifications if you're in servers with a lot of people. and that is reaction notifications. Discord introduced a new type of notification that you will receive whenever someone reacts to your message with an emoji. And you'll get a notification for every single person that reacts to it. So if you post a message in a pretty populated server and a lot of people like it and react to it, you can get dozens and dozens of notifications. Thankfully though, there is a way to turn this off. If we go into our user settings down here at the bottom left, we'll be able to navigate to our notifications tab here on the left side of the screen. And then up here towards the top, you will see reaction notifications. You can have it set to all messages, only direct messages. So you only get notifications for reactions in your direct messages, or you can turn it completely off by selecting never. So those are your reaction notifications. Next up, we have another really minor update. Um, this is a little bit of a minor change to the UI. You will notice in your direct messages tab, if you come up to your direct messages, if you've ever utilized Discord activities before, you will now have a permanent bar up here that shows play again of all of your recent activities that you have utilized inside Discord. Surprisingly, some people are kind of complaining about this because they're saying it takes up extra real estate on the D direct messages page because we first got the shop tab and now we're getting this and we're slowly moving our direct messages further and further down. I don't really see it like that personally. I mean, it's super small. I don't really care for it. Um, I think it's just part of them really pushing Discord activities um, and rightfully so. I think they are a really cool feature that is severely underutilized. There are some really cool things that you can use with Discord activities. I mean, they even have a full on, like if we load this up, they have a full on Minecraft game that you can play directly in a Discord voice channel. I mean, it's basically just like Minecraft here. Like I just booted it up and I mean, look, it's literally exactly obviously it's like super pixelated but i mean we're literally playing minecraft inside a discord voice channel so i see why they're really pushing it and i am currently getting beaten to death by this guy jesus christ dude i'm gonna die i died um okay but regardless i see why they are pushing it so much because there is so much you can do with discord activities that a lot of people don't even know. I think a lot of people look at it as some kind of gimmicky feature, but if you run a community server, there are really cool things you can do to have like a fun community game night with all the different activities they offer. Even though those are super minor updates, those are really the two only big changes that have officially come out on Discord within the last couple months, at least since my last Discord roundup video. Now we're gonna kind of be pivoting into leaked experimental features that are only available to a very subset group of people right now. And eventually in the coming new year, these features will roll out to the full platform. First up, we have a new feature coming out called Splash Potions. This feature is only available to 10% of users on the platform, but basically these are purchasable potions that give you access to certain Nitro features. For example, the one that is shown in this video is the HD streaming potion that gives you access to Nitro's HD streaming feature for a very small price. The main draw to this is you are paying to be able to use the splash potion, but it applies to the entire voice channel for a specific amount of time. So anyone that joins that voice channel will have access to the HD streaming resolutions because you applied a splash potion to it. So just to give you a visual here on screen of what it looks like, you can see whenever you go, if you have access to the feature, when you go to share your screen, there will be a pop-up at the bottom where you can use a splash potion you can apply the splash potion to the voice channel and then you will see at the bottom, the share your screen button is now glowing, letting you know. And then the voice channel on the left side channel list is also glowing in a highlighted box, letting you know that someone has applied a splash potion to that active voice channel. And at the very bottom, you can see it'll say, you gave everyone here HD streaming. And here on screen is the actual purchase page of where you would go to purchase these different splash potions. This one is currently equates to one US dollar. So for one US dollar, you can purchase a HD splash potion that'll activate HD streaming quality in that specific voice channel. 
for the next 12 hours. I don't think these will be really that big of a hit. I think it's kind of gimmicky. Um, the only thing I could see this useful for is if you are hosting some kind of a community event or something and you want to, you want to have a bunch of people streaming something in a voice channel and you want to give them all higher resolution streaming quality, then you can apply this uh, HD splash potion to the voice channel. So for that 12 hours during that event, you will be able, everyone will be able to share their screen at a higher resolution. Another new feature that is currently in the works that just got leaked a few days ago is the ability to schedule messages on Discord. This is something very minimal, but I think a very useful feature that a lot of people are going to utilize is having the ability to pre-write a message and have it be sent at a specific time and day in the future. So definitely excited to be able to start scheduling messages soon. Next up, we have server applications. If you are at all familiar with Discord's uh, guild feature, which for some reason still isn't fully available if you want more info on that i'll have a video linked below on everything to, that you need to know about discord guilds but one of the main features of discord guilds is you have to apply you have to submit an application to be able to join well coming out in the near future part of discord's discovery feature they're going to have an apply to join option which is basically going to bring the application feature from guilds to every server that exists the way it's set up through the discovery tab i feel like it's only going to serve applications to people that find your server through that discovery tab this could change but the way they have it set up now it seems like that's going to be the case now moving into one of the biggest leaked features coming out is an automated process for their age verification system now this in-app age verification system is really only going to be utilized for automating underage ban appeals. So if your Discord account was suspended because it was seemed as underage, you can be served with this process to automate the age verification process. It's a three part step. You take a video selfie to check your age, which is powered through KID. They'll process the results and then you can log back into Discord once it has been verified. I'm not too familiar with KID, so I'm not really sure how they tell your age just based on your face. If they can tell if you're over 13 just from a video of your face, but I imagine they're utilizing some sort of AI system to be able to do that. Some people are questioning why there's a video selfie and no just take a picture of your ID. The likely answer to that is Discord is 13. You have to be 13 years of age to be able to use it according to their terms of service. And if you are 13 years old, you're not going to have a driver's license or a state issued ID. You usually don't have any official state verification until you turn 16 and get your driver's license, at least here in the US. So that is likely why they're utilizing this video selfie method. But nonetheless, that's an overview of their new automated AI age verification system that'll be coming out soon. And that's pretty much it. There's not anything to too crazy honestly i was expecting a lot of bigger features to come out before the end of the year it really seems like discord likes to push a lot of their big features in q4 but we really didn't see anything i mean the big one of the biggest things that was announced this year was the guild feature i think that was back in the spring when i posted my video on that i just looked to get a fact check myself and it was may 26 when i posted the video on discord guilds that was when they officially released the big like article blog post about the discord guilds so i'm really surprised that they're still working on ironing out that feature given they've had the past what seven months to kind of iron things out with it that's pretty much where we're at with discord here at the start of 2025. Overall, nothing too crazy in terms of feature additions that we're going to be starting off 2025 with. Speaking of 2025, I have a lot of really cool content planned out, including the 2025 version of how to set up a Discord server. Currently, that is planned to be released sometime in the month of February last year. I uploaded it the first week of March. This year, I'm aiming to hopefully get that out in the month of February. This will be a full comprehensive guide in how, on how to set up a Discord server in the year 2025 with all of the new updates and UI changes that Discord has made within the last year. Aside from that, I have some really cool other videos planned that will be coming out soon, and I am dedicated. One of my biggest goals this year is to get more active in posting and have a more consistent upload schedule and not have to go months without a video like I did a lot of 2024. And as always, if you need help with your own Discord server i have a fiverr gig which soon is hopefully going to be moving to a new setup more info on that will be announced in the discord tutorial video for 2025 in february but hopefully i'm moving to a new platform for that but in the meantime if you need more help with your discord server or you don't have the time to create your own feel free to message me there and you can hire me to create your server for you aside from that my discord server discord.gg gesture i have a free discord help channel in there where you can drop any discord related questions in me or someone else that's knowledgeable about the platform we'll do our best to help you out thank you guys for watching and here's to a great 2025